Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Brocco Fast. If you haven't already, hit subscribe because you're going to like what I have to say. <laughs> Just kidding. But I wanted to talk to everybody. I've been gone for like, gosh, I think six months now. Um, summer hit and uh, just been busy. My son was home, uh, winter, everything, Christmas, holidays. I mean, it's been insane that I just have not been able to post um, and haven't been able to send everybody content, which has been killing me, um, but there has been some changes uh, going on in my life, going on in um, my car life, things like that. All for the good, nothing bad, just lots of craziness going on, you know, I mean, it's, you know, um, you all know how it is, and it has been wild. Um, to be honest, I actually lost a little motivation uh, over the summer, just having my son home from school and doing things and working. Um, and actually, YouTube changed a couple things, which I was losing. I lost like 150 subscribers in like a day. It made no sense. And then um, like three months later, they all came back, which honestly, it just demotivated me a little bit. But I've had so much going on with the car stuff that I kept thinking, you know what? I need to bring it back. Um, I need to start posting more. I've got um, exciting track days coming up, exciting car stuff going on. Um, and the one big change, like I said, it was all good um, that has happened is I do have a new track car. All right, so some of you might be um, upset. I got rid of the Camaro, the ZL1, the 1LE. Um, I love the car so much, but market was uh, getting a little wild. They stopped production of the Camaro. It was time that I wanted to track more. And to be honest, tracking the Camaro ZL1 1LE was really expensive and not cost friendly. Uh, for example, I spent like $460 in gas just on track. That's not getting there. That's not driving around. That was just track gas. Um, at a shell station, not even gas on track, um, because every session I'd have to fill up. So that's eight sessions, eight fill ups. And if you have the card, you know it gets really expensive. For example, brakes, rotors are crazy expensive compared to what I used to track. So, had an awesome opportunity. This is a car I've owned before, and many of you know I've gone through a lot of cars. I've had a lot of cars. I've never bought one back. I've never had a chance to get one back until now. And, um, this car is very near and dear to me. I started building it completely stock about five, six, six years ago. Um, I'll show you a picture of it right here. And now she's back. So the owner that I sold it to, we've always stayed in touch. Great guy. He's loved this car so much. He made a couple changes to it and to make it his own. And he called me, said, hey, I'm just not driving it. I think it's time to sell it. I want you to have the first opportunity. The wheels started turning. Things happen and bam, the Honda S2000 is back and I'm more excited than ever. We've already got a track day in January and a lot of parts. So let me show you a little bit more about the car and how awesome it is and the parts we've got to install because those videos will be coming up soon. And I only have like 20 days to install so much stuff, so much. So let's talk about the car. Here she is. We're in the garage because the weather is terrible right now. But as you can see, this is the S2000. It's already got, um, so a lot of this I did, but a lot of this the new owner did. He put a new front bumper on it and a new hood. I got my bumper back, right? It's still there. And I was able to get the hood back. So we will have like a street trim and a track trim. I don't know, but I love this bumper. This is the Voltex with the uh, Voltex splitter. Um, now it is a replica, it's not real. I'd be an idiot to track a real Voltex um, bumper because this bumper from Voltex is like $3,800. It's crazy expensive. So this is the rep, but it's all real carbon fiber. Wedge sport wheels, put the carbon fiber hood on it. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple adjustments to the hood. Um, it doesn't really fit as well as I want it to be right here. And when you're on track, I I'm just having decided whether I'm gonna go back with my hood for track days the carbon hood for street driving, but it is a beast. Got the craft square mirrors, my APR carbon spoiler. Uh, wet sport wheels are very light, but if you see there, my partners at Titan have sent me a set of wheels, carbon uh, Mugen roof. So this is the um, Rockstar Garage 
Mugen style roof, Mugen style um, carbon hood. We've got the track spec fender vents. Um, we've got the Titan wheels. Over here, we've got a real set of sticky RT 660s that will be going on for the track day. Um, and then we have, uh, I've got some Recaro pole position seats that were in the car before. So we'll be getting those installed. Um, inside, stock interior got back, put back in it. Um, we've got the beautiful Momo steering wheel. I mean, and the Rockstar double diagonal roll bar that I put in it. So this car is very near and dear to me. So I was able to get it back. I'm super excited about it. And the greatest thing is we got track days coming up. Now I did already order um, custom valve long stroke Owens, AP racing front and rear, or front brake kit from um, Saki Bomb Garage. We've got the rear kit that is the um, Saki Bomb competition kit. Uh, over here, we've got um, Radium Auto dual catch cans. I've got a new valve cover with the uh, from Charles. He did the um, basically the rain hater mod onto it. I've got brake calipers here, another set of wheels, um, but lots to do, lots to do. I'm back. So, you know, I'm ready to go. We've got lots of stuff to do. Track day's coming up. And I wanted to show you the car that I've been so excited about. And I've kind of hit it. I've only had it for like a month and I love that Camaro. It was so awesome, but I'm ready to get back on the track. And, and just to show you that I can do almost four full sessions at Sebring with a tank of gas in this. Brake rotors are dirt cheap, pads are cheap. Um, you know, everything about it is just a little cheaper and they're so much fun on track. If you have never driven an S2000 on the track, it's something else. I mean, it's just, they always say, once you sell your S2000, you'll probably buy another one. I didn't believe it until I sold mine and realized, wow, I should have never sold that car. <laughs> so she's back. So there's gonna be a lot of exciting things going on. Um, super excited that uh, everybody gets to be a part of it. Watching the channel grow has been exciting and let's keep going for 2024. So like I said before, hit subscribe, watch the content, fall in love. We're gonna have a lot of fun this year and I'll see you on the next one. Brack go fast.